anyway, basically we're just using Yandex Go, which is a very useful app when you travel in this part of the world. We are now heading for our next place, which will be a local dinner. Yes, um, yes, yeah, Norway. Um, Jenna is Yushno uh, Vakari. Еще раз? Как у нас нравится, а, погода о... какая? Жарко, да? А, нравится? это слишком жарко здесь. Это 40 градусов или что-то вроде, да? Больше. А больше? Это это ужасный. А вы из Ташкента, да? Да. А, классно. Очень понравится город. Очень, да, очень классный город. Очень красивый, красивый арт. Да, и большие базары. Нравится. Сколько вы здесь? Где побывали? А мы э, поедем обратно через, через два дня. Mm -hmm. э, уже был э, несколько дней. А завтра поедем в э, Самарканд. Mm -hmm. это, это план. Э, только э, день... Только туда и обратно, в тот же Понятно. самый день. Утром да. поедете, вечером приедете. Э, точно, точно. А мы хотим попробуем, э, э, не знаю, как, э, как сказать, быстрый трам, быстрый трам туда. А, да, да. Черваки побывали? Черваки? Нет. Нет? Нету. Это рядом? А, -а, а это дама, которая собирается. Вода же есть, вот эта дама большая. Там а -а -а, курортная понятно. зона. Э -э. По интернету посмотрите. Может, если у вас тенечек в свободное время будет, надо туда сесть. Классно. Там очень классно. Да, классно, классно. А как, как называется? Чарвак. Чарвак. Да. А понятно. А Мерсой можно. Это рядом. Есть канат очень большой. Да. -а -а. Это. Поехать. Классно. Это на восточный. Это, знаете, часочек, наверное, максимум полтора с отсюда, с Ташкента, наверх. А, понятно, классно. Полтора часа, километров в час. На, да. машине, на машине час-полтора вот так. О, Туда это... можно поехать, посмотреть, покупаться в пляже. Классно. Это... Можно обратно. Это очень, э, 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 это очень близко. Да, близко. Да, да, да. Ну, конечно, близко, чем Самарканд. Да, да но Узбекистан очень... Э, Большая страна, очень большая страна. Мы хотим поехали в, в Бухара и Киева и ага. такие известные города. Ага. Но я думаю, что не, э, времени нету. Там просто исторические места много, за счет этого много кто туда едет. Да, да, ну мы, мы только, только был в Ташкенте, mm. да, и э, завтра планируем в <laughs> Самарканд. Да. Самолет спает или что? Это самолет. С Сам самолетом. Минут, минут 40 куда поедете обратно. Да, точно, Если точно. Проедете. Точно. Ну, может быть, есть время. Давай посмотрим. Да, да, да. да, 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 да. да, да. Если время будет, вот вчера тоже съездите. Там очень там классно. Классно. Там только места, отдыхающие места. Да, отдыхающие Просто места. места да, это... Классно. Да, это план. Самые известные блюда в Узбекистан, да? Национальные блюда. Это да, на, да. национальные да, блюда. Да. да. Я, я пробовал плав раньше, когда я был в Казахстан и Кыргызстан. Да, и сколько... там не так, что у нас самый такой плав. Точно, да. да <laughs> это ус, услышали тоже. Yeah. Это здесь? Да, вот отлично, так. отлично. Сразу 8700. Спасибо огромное. Я, пожалуйста. Да. Ну, нормально. 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 Спасибо огромное, брат. До свидания. Here, right? Yeah. Здравствуйте. 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 Можно здесь? Да. Спасибо. Один бешпармак и эй плов. Отлично. А это это ж, э, кумис? Или... Это айрон. Это айрон. Это кефир. Это кефир. Это кефир. 
So we can choose what we want here. Oh, yeah. One, one thing? We can choose whatever. Ah, actually. But it's too much for us. Uh, it, it's too much. So he, so this is iron. Mm. This is kefir. This is yogurt. Mm. This is uh, juice. And salad. If we, if we want a salad. But do we need salad? Do we need? Ah, I думаю, что это это слишком много. Нас. А, не надо, спасибо. А, не, не, не надо. Так, какой сок надо? А, нап, напитка. Компот, айсти, махито, тархон. А, есть. Есть. Эм... А, they have cola here. А, есть эм... пепси или кола без сахара? Без сахара, без сахара есть? Ah, спасибо. Спасибо. So, this is Beshbarmak, which in local Kazakh or Uzbek means five fingers because originally you eat it with five fingers. So it's basically one of the most traditional foods in Central Asia. Uh, it's very, um, it's made in a very special way. I think the oldest man in the family, when uh, it's a the typical family food, the oldest man is cutting the meat in a very special way, and then he serve it on top of pasta, as you can see under here. Uh, and it takes relatively long time uh, for the whole food to be prepared, but it's combined, so it's pasta and horse meat. Horse meat is the main ingredients, and then you have vegetables and uh, like various kinds of vegetables and some kind of broth that makes the unique flavor. Um, I think it's the national dish of Kazakhstan mainly because Kazakhstan is a horse country, it's a steppe landscape, but it's as widespread in the other neighboring Central Asian country countries as well as Kazakhstan. Now we are in Uzbekistan, so I'm gonna try the Uzbek style of this food here that I first time tried four years ago when I went, uh, six years ago when I went to Kazakhstan for the first time. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna enjoy. It's very oily food. Very oily. I'm gonna take this. Originally you eat it with five fingers. Um, that's a bit too uh, nomadic, so I'm gonna eat it like the modern way. That was the pasta, then it's the horse meat. Tastes similar to salted lamb, quite similar to salty lamb. And then you have this vegetables here with the broth, which is kind of a big combo flavor. It's very difficult to eat it. Um, combined because I feel it's just slippery away from your um, fork and spoon. It's very good. It's a uh, perfect food if you like salty food. And if you like meat, especially lamb, beshpermak, uh, is perfect. And it seems like you have different part of the horse here. So let's see if it tastes any different. Mm. Yeah, it definitely tastes different. This is more chewy. This is more... It's similar taste to lamb. Uh, this part here, which looks like sausage kind of, is more chewy. Then the pasta is just... It's just pasta. 
So we're gonna enjoy this meal here and then I'll talk to you guys eventually. So we finished our meal. We ordered uh, plof, one portion, bespermak, and a big one and a half liter of cola. And totally that cost 112,560 um, Uzbek and it's just quite bizarre how large these sums becomes because this in total according to today's currency is equal 10 euro which is extremely cheap and yet you pay with such a crazy sum because Uzbekistan has been through a high inflation and actually just a few years ago, there was quite common that tourists went to Uzbekistan. When they, when they came to Uzbekistan, they went to the black market to exchange foreign currency, especially US dollar. Um, and then they got double the rate back from the black currency guy. Now the government put a stop on it. So when you exchange, you can easily do it in uh, ATMs, you can withdraw money from ATMs and it won't cost you that much compared to before. Uh, so the, the inflation is much less these days uh, compared to before um, because at that time you could have a large bunch of paper notes money just to pay for a simple uh, meal like this. But now we pay this amount. It's still a high uh, sum. Uh, but that's just how it is. Let's go. So, today we, we went to the biggest shopping mall in Tashkent called Samarkand Darvos. And it's a relatively big shopping mall with five floors. And in the basement floor, we went to a very nice big store called Home Market, where we, Home Market, as written here in the receipt, where we bought a lot of various stuff. Uh, because when we travel, uh, especially when we travel to cheap countries, we try to buy necessary stuff that we need for traveling or for when we are uh, staying home, uh, like back in Norway. Because in Norway, many of these uh, products are extremely expensive compared to here, for example. So the stuff we bought are all this stuff here. So some of them are necessary, like this is a necessity, these are necessities, uh, these are necessities, these are necessities. This is not really a necessity, but slippers is always nice anyway. And then this is a French brand, but we have a collection. Um, we are collecting stuff. So even though this is a French brand, we have a memory from Uzbekistan that whenever we eat, we can think about that. This one here we bought in Uzbekistan. And also we bought coffee because when you travel, I highly recommend to buy this kind of powder coffee just in case you can't find local coffee uh, or whatever problem you might end up with with not getting the necessary coffee in boost. So we always travel with coffee. Um, and also we have also another collection called magnet collection. So we got this magnet here and in most stores we visited before home market we saw magnets for 25,000 som. In this home market here, this magnet here, which looks pretty cool actually with the Tashkent uh, mosque in the picture, it cost 6,900 som. 6,900 sum is less than a euro.
See? It's 0 0.63 cent. That's extremely cheap for a magnet. All in all, this stuff here in the home market costed 305,000 some. 305,000 some is equal 27.9 euro or 28 euro. This is extremely cheap. Yeah, in Uzbekistan, they have a very high currency because of the inflation. So don't be surprised if you need to pay a lot every time you buy something or if your uh, wallet becomes very full because you are basically carrying around a bunch of notes all the time. And also, I forgot to show you this cheap shampoo here. It's just a shampoo, but it costs 0 0.8 euro for 350 milliliter. It's very cheap. And also, since we don't have so many supermarkets close by to where we're staying now, we had to buy chips in the same shopping mall we went to. Yeah, we have a small kiosk uh, close by, but it's very poor selection. So we bought these kind of products here, these chips here, and this Russian style cake here called Alyonka in care for which is also one of the biggest supermarket brands in the world so, yeah so we went yeah so we we went to care for one of the biggest supermarket brands in the world uh, we saw it in yerevan and dubai and now in tashkent and the total price of all this stuff that we bought here was sixty-three thousand three hundred uzbek sum which is almost six euro which is very cheap for all this stuff here if it was in Norway you could buy maybe two of this for the same price we Sorland got chips how much is Sorland Sorland's chips? chips is the cheapest chips you can get it for 20 actually 20 Norwegian kron like two, two euro, two euro. Uh, you then you get or candy. yeah exactly but that is because it's local brand mm. And also we had a big plan tomorrow to go to Samarkand, but since we're leaving Tashkent in just two days and go back to Europe, we were a bit unlucky because we hadn't planned well enough to buy train tickets uh, beforehand uh, from Tashkent to Samarkand and back again on, on the same day, which was the plan. But when we went to the train station, the main train station in Tashkent, they didn't have any more tickets for tomorrow. So what you should do uh, if you decide to go to Samarkand from Tashkent and if you want to avoid ending up in the same uh, unplanned trap that we uh, ended up in, you should book your tickets at this side here, which is basically the official website to buy train tickets in Tashkent. And Tashkent, uh, Uzbekistan in general, they have bullet trains, which are like these super fast trains that can get you from um, Tashkent to Samarkand and further to Bukhara in less than two hours, or from Tashkent to Samarkand in less than two hours. Uh, we didn't book. We didn't book our tickets in advance, so we went straight to the office because we were thinking that this would probably be an easy. Uh, buy and that we would have our and we would most likely have our tickets until tomorrow's train ride that was not the case because you actually need to book your tickets in advance so idiotic of us we'll see what we will do tomorrow uh, we haven't planned yet uh, we have our last day in Uzbekistan tomorrow so we will make the best out of it